Hey everybody, this is Kressel Snapdragon back again with another Discord bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do simple image editing to get something like this. So just a quick overview of what I did. I created a background image in Photoshop and then I laid a avatar image on top of it as well as a number here. And the reason I made this was because in the prior video I created a welcome event which basically just means this welcome message spawns whenever somebody enters the server it's embedded instead I wanted to create this so whenever somebody enters the server it's gonna spawn this with their personal avatar and their member server account number so I'm gonna show you how to do this now I already created a command for this because I wanted to test the positions of the avatar as well as the count number because I laid them on top again of this background image. And I'm going to try and explain this slowly so that you understand. So now I'm going to redo this, this entire process here, under my welcome message event so that it spawns whenever somebody enters the server. So we're going to redo it. I'll take you step by step. Okay, so we're going to clone this welcome message event, which you should have if you watched the prior video. And then I'm just going to get rid of all the embedded messages except for the description because I'm going to copy and paste this into the message for this image here. So the first thing you want to do is get your background image and you're going to want to upload it to Imgur because you're going to need the image link. Next you're going to go to create and we have to create the image within Discord Bot Maker. Go to create image paste your image URL from Imgur and add the source to it so it's a .png and we have to give it a temporary variable which I'm going to call image. Okay, so now we have our image that we've created. Now we want to create an avatar from the member who just joined the server. So we're going to go to create. We're going to go to create image from avatar and our avatar source is the temp variable called member because if you remember the information for who just entered the server is stored here under the temp variable called member so that's going to be the source of the avatar and then we're going to store it under a new temp variable called avatar now avatars range in sizes so we want to resize the avatar to a specific size we're going to go to create resize the image and we're resizing our avatar image and here this is where we're going to resize it to a direct size not a percent because a percent can change depending on the original size of the image right so some avatars their original size is not the same as others so if you were to do percent then you'd have avatars of different sizes every time someone joined the server so you want to find a direct size and it's something you're going to have to play with I already played with it and I have it here so I resized it to 135 and 125 so now every avatar is going to be exactly this size okay this is a good point to show you that your actions have to be in a particular order Right, we first have to lay down the background image in order to start stacking the avatar and text on top of it. So we created the image first, we then created an image from the avatar, and then we resize the avatar. So it has to be in a particular order or it won't work. So next, we want to draw the avatar image on top of our background image by going to create, draw image on image, the source image is our background, which I stored under the temp variable called image. And the image that is drawn is going to be the avatar. And now the X and Y positions, those are something you're going to have to mess around with. As you can see, I messed around with it a lot just to get it in the correct position. A good place to start, though, is mobilefish.com because what you can do is upload your image in here and determine where you want it click a point and it spawns an X and Y coordinate. 
Now this isn't going to be exact to Discord Bot Maker. You're going to have to play around with it and move it across the X and Y coordinate positions. But it's a good place to get started. So X would be 283 and Y would be about 122. I want it to be about this spot. So you just have to play around with it. But that's a good place to start. I'll put this link into the info below. Okay, so I already did this. I'm going to go get it. This is why I created a test command. And mine is 275 and 10. The next thing we want to do is generate the count number and then draw the count number onto our image as well. So we're going to go to create. We're going to go to store server info. And then we want it to store the server member count under a variable called count. And now we want to draw the text image of that count onto our picture here. Go to create draw text on image. The source image again is image. The font you're just going to want to leave because that's the only font that Discord Bot Maker has and there are some tutorials and sites that tell you that you can use an application called Hero to convert a true font file, which is a .tdf file, into a .fnt. So you can't just take any font from your computer and use it in the Discord Bot because the fonts on your computer are .ttf fonts, which is a true font file a .fnt is a sort of bitmap font used in Java, so you'd have to convert .ttf to fnt. And again, there is an application to do so. I'll put the link down in the info. But I tried it with several fonts, and it just didn't work. So I would just suggest leaving it as Asimov. It's not too bad if you look at it here. So I would just leave the font alone, to be honest. And then we have to get the x and y positions again. Again, you would use mobile fish here just to get started. I already did it because I was messing around with it so my position is 170 and 100. And now I want to insert the text here and I wanted to insert the member count number. And to do that we're just going to right click here, go to insert temp variable, and it was stored under our temp variable count. So now it's going to write the member number here on the image. Okay. Now we want to send it to a specific channel that if you remember from the last video, I stored under the temp variable called new member. That was my welcome channel. Welcome channel and I stored it under new member. So I'm going to put it to send to the welcome channel here and then the message, I'm going to leave basically the same as I had it here. I'm just going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to add the Octothorps. Okay. So now we've generated that image with the avatar on the top and the number in the side right there. So now we have to test it. Let's go to project, run project. And now we're going to invite a bot to the server. We can do PokeCord, for example. And we should see it spawn. So again, we have the bot running. If it's blue, let's see what happens. Okay. And there it is. So now I can get rid of this welcome message because I'm not going to be using it. This is what I will be using. It works perfectly. There's the avatar. There's the member number. And then here's the basic information for members coming into the server. So that is how you do basic image editing. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create an 8-ball. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.